Uh, my name is uh, Jose Kamanda. I'm a social scientist at Africa Rice, and I work with the Rice Sector Development Program of Africa Rice. Um, our role in the Rice Sector Development Program is to work with other scientists, for example, in the breeding program, agronomy program, and to make sure that technologies coming out of our work, our research products, are useful to farmers. And um, more specifically for the project that we just launched, um, our idea is to find options for optimizing use of inland valleys. Um, inland valleys are uh, a very good potential. In Africa we have about 190 million hectares of inland valleys. Um, at, up, at out of this amount, about 2% are used for rice production. And uh, we estimate that if we use good agricultural practices, use of about 13% of these 190 million hectares could actually help us meet rice self-sufficiency, which is currently a challenge in Africa. We are about 55% self-sufficient, so 45% of our rice is imported. So we are partnering in this project that is funded by IFAD with uh, national partners from Cote d'Ivoire and Ghana, uh, also with the uh, Wagengen University and um, a farm in, uh, based in Ghana, MDF West Africa. So we will be hosting two PhD students who are registered in Wageningen University and a postdoc. Um, so the idea of the project is basically three components. The first one is to look at, within an inland valley, there are various competing uses. There are ecosystem services, yeah, forestry, fisheries, recreation, and so on. And then also there's agricultural use. So there's a need to balance these uses in the inland valley. So it's discussing with the stakeholders, carrying out land use scenario analysis to see what will be the optimal uses for inland valleys. Then the second component is uh, experimenting with best fit technologies and innovations that could be useful for increasing productivity in inland valleys. So we work with farmers um, in looking at what options are best for the inland valleys. And then of course the next step will be to scale out these innovations in other sites. So to achieve that, we are mapping the inland valleys in both countries across the national level, uh, looking at characteristics uh, that could allow what we do at a pilot level to be able to be transferred to other locations. So of course, we will also be engaging with policymakers and um, using various media to actually translate these best fit technologies and practices to farmers. So it's a project of uh, four years, and we hope that uh, by the end of the project, we'll be able to find some useful uh, productivity increases for farmers. In Africa Rice we've already had some experience with inland valley development and we have a smart valleys approach for developing inland valleys. So we intend to test some of these innovations with the, in two inland valleys in Ghana and two inland valleys in Cote d'Ivoire and then look at the potential for scaling these to other locations which could actually increase uh, production.